So here I have a Sony laptop and this is the basically the same for any kind of laptop and it's it's not turned on at all. It has a power supply. You can see the light on the power supply is turning on but uh, it's not charging or um, it won't power on and the very first thing I'm going to do is just test that it's not my adapter problem. Okay, so I'm just grabbing a um, multimeter, put it on voltage because, you know, sometimes the uh, power adapters do get old and, and stuff like that. So I'm just uh, connecting uh, one inside and one outside here and I'm getting I'm getting uh, 15 volts and you know you could wiggle around the wire and see if it fluctuates but I it looks good the power button is on the side here you know wherever your power button is and, you know I press this and nothing it's not turned on so definitely it is a power issue to fix this issue it's basically all the same for any kind of laptop is you'll have to remove um, the front the the bezel here by removing the screws in the back and so that we can access that there okay so you flip it over remove any kind of battery um, remove your hard drive and all these these screws at the bottom you want to remove so I'm going to be doing that right now and I'm just using an ice cube tray to organize all my screws After that, just very interesting that this one, the bottom bezel, usually it's the front bezel that that uh, you remove. Um, I kind of actually like the bottom bezel removing that just goes to show you that the newer designs are not as good a newer laptop to open it basically you have to remove the top bezel and, and, and there's a couple screws that are underneath the keyboard there and then you have to it's and then you have to remove that to get at the the charging connector um, that is it's down over there so this is the new design the old designs I'm liking that a lot better now the power point it's right here and you can see this cable here this is the power cable that goes to your board there and you can identify it there with um, the positive and negative so see if it's a connector issue oh actually I'm measuring 15 volts so okay I'm gonna wiggle the connector Okay, now I'm wiggling the connector and getting a solid voltage there. Now it could be any anything, uh, could be one of these MOSFETs. Now we do have a couple MOSFETs, um, but basically we have some drain source and then we have one pin is the gate. The, the pin that's by itself is the gate and um, they're, they're two in series and this is for turning on and off the and also for protection of your computer and sometimes these MOSFETs go bad and if you use your multimeter and I'm just putting in in voltage mode you know you should get some some voltage if I put the positive lead to I believe this is the drain and then the source I'm getting about half volt voltage across there and then here's the gate I'm getting 1.6 and this one then I get I'm getting an open circuit there now we'll move on to the same chip here and 
I'm going to put one leg to the the gate which is this one right here and then I'm measuring an open okay I'm gonna I'm gonna switch over to the gate I'm measuring open again and measuring it open here so it's looking like we have a bad MOSFET so I'll have to be replacing this bad guy here we will put it underneath the scope so underneath the scope and it it's uh, it's open between the drain and the source here and then if I flip my leads it's open again so it's definitely a bad P channel MOSFET there so I'll be replacing that This is uh, what I've done. I've uh, replaced the uh, the PA channel MOSFET here. Um, I am measuring the voltage here, no problem. I've also injected past this just to make sure that you know there was no issues. And whatever short it had, it must have opened up the circuit somewhere because there isn't a short. It's only drawing about uh, four milliamps there so I'm not getting any 3.3 .3 power volt rail so it would be something else but it's uh, it's not like a short where it's easy to identify the issue so after taking the motherboard out there's looks, this chip looks like the power on IC and I did notice that one of the traces there looks like it's burnt So <clears throat> after replacing that MOSFET I put in the battery here and I put in up to 19 volts on the power supply. So it looks like also an issue with the adapter, it needs to have at least 19 volts for it to activate the chips. So now it's charging here. Now this power supply it was it was reading 15 and let's uh, you can see the lights charging there I'm just going to disconnect I'm gonna plug we'll plug in the this the lights not charging so you also have a power power supply issue as well so it should draw about 10 milliamps at 19 volts just plugged in without the battery so let's give this a whirl and you can see the computer is starting up now just need to insert the operating system now here's after installing a hard drive and this testing it out you can see that the 
laptop is running.